You've just changed the light bulb in the pantry to an Energy Star energy efficient LED bulb, one that uses up to 90% less energy than a regular old incandescent bulb and saves you more than $55 over its lifetime. You just saved energy and money and did the environment a solid. What's next? Organizing the pantry? It's suddenly so well lit. Find our LED discounts at ExcelEnergy.com slash lighting deals. Excel Energy. All right, here we are down in Mexico, ready for Panthers softball once again. I'm Dusty Windham, alongside me, Natalie Navarrete. Uh, how are you doing this morning, ma'am? I'm doing good, just nervous for the game. Don't be so nervous. She does a great job, folks. You all know she does. And, of course, she'll be flying solo for most of this one as I've got to get back to Hobbs and take care of New Mexico Junior College. But we're going to be ready for some softball action. It'll be Jonna Butts on the mound for your Panthers. Talavera behind the dish, as always. And, of course, they're taking on the Loving Falcons. Uh, one game today of varsity action. Of course, we don't broadcast JV, but they are playing immediately after this. So if you have a chance, come out and support the young ladies out on the field. Natalie, uh, Loving is a – are they in your district? I think they are. That's a district uh, opponent here. So a good preview of what's to come the rest of this season. And for Loving, who is number 10 coming to bat here, ma'am? Uh, number 10 is going to be Karen yeah. Montoya. Karen Montoya, lefty. I always thought lefties had better swings. Uh, they're just, they look more natural to me anyways. Ken Griffey Jr., uh, if you ever got to watch him play, had the best swing I've ever seen. Butts' first pitch is going to be across for a strike. So we're underway here in Jal. It's the Panthers and the Falcons doing battle here. And, uh, well, the Panthers look to get back to their winning ways here. Fouled back now an 0-2 count as we get things rolling. You know what? Really good at this job, especially for somebody who just started, Natalie. So I'm, I'm, I'm thankful to have you with us. I'm sure the Jow Panther fans are happy to have you with us as well. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so the 0-2 coming from Butts. It's going to be chopped right back at Butts to throw to first. Was it in time? They'll call her out. So that is the call. One away here as number seven will step into the box. And who is number seven, ma'am? That's going to be the pitcher, Bray Brayley Hunt. Okay, so Hunt will come up first. Or second here, I guess I should say. As there's one out here, we're in the top of the first inning and a ball thrown low. And it'll be a 1-0 count here from Butts to Hunt. Falcons, of course, in their red. Panthers in their traditional blue and gold here. The 1-0's chopped to third, off the glove. And no play can be made at first as it's bounced around the infield. Ross tried to come up with it, could not get to it. And so with one out, they'll have a runner on first, will the Falcons. And I think we're gonna have a courtesy runner come in. We are. keep that sun off of us this early in the morning. I'm like a vampire. I might just pew, poof in the flames <laughs> there, you know. So number 14, ma'am. That's going to be Alicia Martinez. So Alicia Martinez batting from the left side. Two lefties in the lineup. Been a while since we've seen that. So here comes Butts to the plate. Ooh. This ball is smoked in the right field. It's going to get all the way to the wall. Runner around third, now heading home, and it looks like Martinez is going to be in with a stand-up triple, and it's one nothing loving here as now I have to take my leave. I'm going to leave it in the hands of Natalie. Natalie, you got this. You're going to kill it. Tiffany Stuber back at the station, the executive producer as well. So please enjoy the rest of the broadcast. Right now we have Sierra Rodriguez for a strike. And now she's going in for her second pitch where that's going to be a ball. And number 14, which is going to be Martinez, makes it home.
So Jonna just needs to get some more strikes so we can go on to three outs. And that's going to be a two and one count. And she's getting ready to pitch again. Well, that's going to be the third ball. So that's going to leave us with a three and one count. And we have one out for the Lovington. And she hits it to left field where it is almost caught, where she makes it to second and is safe. Right now we have Brooklyn, Brooklyn Rodriguez up to bat. Well, that's going to be a ball. And you can hear some rowdiness from the Lovington dugout. And she bunts the ball close to catcher and pitcher, and she is saved. Up to bat is going to be Sim, and she is another lefty. Well, that's going to be a ball. Roster flew away. That's going to be a two and one count. where she hits it out. So that's going to be a two and two count. And she's getting ready to swing again. And we have two runners on bases, one on third and one on second. Where well, that's going to be the third ball. And she hits it to first where she is going to be out. Or was that a foul? Oh, never mind. And she hits it up and will it be caught? It is caught, leaving that the second out of the top of the first inning. Up to bat is Coraline Onsoris, I believe. I don't know if I'm saying that right.
and that's gonna be a strike. Fouling gets by first base. And I did not see the other runner go to home. I'm slacking. And she hits it up and will it be caught? And it is being the third out of the top of the first inning. And we'll be back for more Jow softball. You've just changed the light bulb in the pantry to an Energy Star energy efficient LED bulb, one that uses up to 90% less energy than a regular old incandescent bulb and saves you more than $55 over its lifetime. You just saved energy and money and did the environment a solid. What's next? Organizing the pantry? It's suddenly so well lit. Find our LED discounts at ExcelEnergy.com slash lighting deals. Excel Energy. Kayla and Emmy Lujan from Panther Energy are excited for their Dow Panthers and proud of all the Dow students' great success this year. Panther Energy is your one-stop shop for backhoes, dump trucks, roustabouts, and welding. Panther Energy, 1179 South 3rd in Jow, or call 575-395-2654, 575-395-2654 for more information. Panther Energy, a proud supporter of all Lee County Athletics. And we are back for more Jow softball. Right now we have the Panthers up to bat, and the first one will be Anna Ross. Right now they are... Let's see if they can get more. And again, um, I am Natalie Navarrete. And if it's a little, a little quiet, you know, I'm by myself. So I hope I have no watchers right now. <laughs> I wonder if you can see that. Oh, you can. It says one active viewer. Mm -hmm. So just one, right? Yeah. That's, let's leave it that way, yeah. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Thought I lost the score thingy. And right now, Anna Ross goes with a strike. Sorry guys, I forgot to reset the the thing. And she hits it out, making it the second strike. And that was the third strike with Jao having one out. And now Jonna Butts is up to bat, and that will be too high, making that a ball. And that's going to be a strike, leaving that a one and one count. Making that a two and one count. And she hits it to second, 
where she will be out, not being fast enough. Now we have Alexa Talavera up to bat. And she's really needing to hit this one, or this will be the end of the bottom of the half, or the bottom of the inning. Being with two outs. And she hits it out where it is caught, making that three outs for the Jow Panthers. And we will be back for more Jow softball. Mamacitas and oh. Jow has a broad selection of specials. Try the Mexican food, asado, tamales, enchiladas, and so much more. At Mamacitas, you can have it all. Mexican food, donuts, and a steamy cup of coffee at the coffee shop. Mamacitas has authentic Mexican food from the heart of good old Jow, New Mexico. Mamacitas, 301 South Main in Jow, is a proud supporter of the Jow community. Iron Horse Sports Grill is now open. Burgers, wings, steaks, salads, pastas, oysters, and tons more, all delish. Check out their full online menu on Facebook under Iron Horse Sports Grill. Open Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Saturday from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. For takeout orders, just call 395-2109. That's 395-2109. Iron Horse Sports Grill, a taste you'll remember. 204 East Kansas Avenue. And we are back for more Jow Softball, and we have a guest now. You want to introduce yourself? It's Adam Juarez, and I'm back commentating today to help Natalie. Was up here all alone, needed some help, so I came to the rescue. Yeah, it was just a little bit of silence every once in a while. Just wanted to mention that you've been doing pretty good up here by yourself. I've been listening because I was... Like, I need to watch a softball game. <laughs> Were you the one viewer? I was probably the one viewer. <laughs> but that's okay, because, I mean, you're up here. Yeah. Just trying. <laughs> so our survivor. softball girls are up 3-0 to zero in the second inning? Yes. And right now we have the number 17. Yeah, 17. That's going to be Angelina Ortiz. The first pitch was a little low and outside for ball one. Just got here. Comes a second pitch from Butts. That one looked right down the middle and a little bit speedy there for Jonna Butts. Flew the fastball right past 17. Who was that again? Angelina Ortiz. Second pitch got her swinging. Was a little high. Might have been a ball, but... 17, Ortiz wanted it, so she went up, tried to get it, just missed it under. Next pitch for Jonna Butts was a strikeout. So the f was it the first strikeout of the game there for Butts? This loving team has been hitting off her pretty simply. That one, Jonna's got the best of her and struck her out in three pitches. Now we have Jazz... Jasmine Sellies up to bat, and she is another lefty. These lefties can do some damage. <laughs> there would have been like five on the team. Really? Oh, that was a hard hit right at Coach McWilliams. Actually, it looks, oh, uh, what coach is that? Yeah, Miss May or yeah. McWilliams? McWilliams and Miss May. It looked like they were both sitting right there. <laughs> I don't know who it hit because it's hit on this window. Who's that over there in left? Is Charisma Rodriguez? I think so. The next pitch for Butts was fast. The fastball got her. Swinging 11. And that's going to be a foul. Hitting it kind of towards the car area. Yikes. <laughs> Good thing I parked behind this huge building. I parked behind the bus. <laughs> That's smart. Let's the see. Next pitch for Jonna was low. 
Number 11 wanted it, tried to go get it, just fouled it off. Let me see. See if we can see the whole plate. You can't see the whole plate. Let's see. Here comes the second pitch for Jana. That one got hit right to shortstop. Natalia, she goes up, hit, throws a little bit too high. Amila had to jump up and try to catch that one, came off the bag. So number 11 will be safe for loving. That's the first hit of the inning here. One out for Jao. Did you feel like that was out or in? I couldn't, I, the pole was right in my face, <laughs> so I couldn't see the bag. She came off all the way. Could have went either way. I like to ask like the juicy questions like that. Yeah. But usually they're like, it was it was no one's fault. It or, was no one's fault. Or it, it was the umps. Just a little bit too high of a throw for Myla to go up and get. She had to jump a little bit too high for it. <laughs> so the first one got fouled off for strike one. Now here comes Butts with the second pitch. She, she goes to an off speed here. There's that pitch low and inside. Ball's going to get past Talavera now. Number 11 is stealing the bag. Goes all the way to second on the steal. And the pass ball. Mm, 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 mm. Those chants are a little catchy, aren't they? Yeah, so I feel like some of those I've heard from TikTok. Mm, oh, yeah. Because they like, keep coming on my For You page now that I do this. They listen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like the freaking ads that you see on YouTube and like all the other stuff. Third pitch was also inside. Also gets past Alexa one more time. Number 11 is going to steal another bag all the way at third now with one out. Of shot zone. The camera out. Oh, the first base is out of the shot zone. That's as much as it goes. Where do you usually set up the camera? Right, right there. Cause but usually Valeria's moving it. Oh, okay. You mean I can move it. Next pitch for Jonna Butts gets fouled off. Try to drop it a little bit. Do you want me to drop this one? No, that one's good. That way I can just reach it better. Next pitch for Butch was low, and it's going to strike out number 10. Going back to the dugout now. Let's see. I don't know how to make it where you can see that base. <laughs> Y'all usually get first base in the shot? Mm, I don't know. Because from here, there's no way you're getting first base. all the way out no way of getting next pitch for Butts was right down the middle Butts handles it nicely goes to first base gets the third out of the inning so now we will move on to the bottom of the second no runs there allowed for loving and we will be back after these short commercials. The Woolworth Community Library is a proud supporter of the Jow Panthers. They are excited to have their kids back into schools and in sports, all while staying safe. The Woolworth Library staff encourages you to swing by the library and check out all of the cool stuff just for kids. Great reads for all ages. Call 575 395 3 Eight for library hours and online resources. The Woolworth Library, a proud supporter of Lee County Athletics. Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. And we are back for some more Jow softball. We're very close. Oh, yeah, so far. 
where Maidin Nieto is up to bat next. Let she, let's see if she can give us a score. So let's hope Maidin can get a base knock and just get on base here, swing for contact. First pitch from seven almost hit Maidin in the ankles. Had to move away there. The speed almost got her. That is a fast pitcher. Can you imagine just stepping in that box and trying to hit that? See, that's why I can never hit the ball. Because <laughs> I was always scared. After getting hit in the back, I was like, nope. Nope, I'm done. Thank you, though. <laughs> Thanks for the opportunity, but I'm leaving. Next one was low. Mayin's going to get a piece of it. She's almost there. Just barely got her out at first base. Mayin had some wheels on her, but was not fast enough to get there before the throw. Now we have Madison Inglet up to bat. Will she give us a run? Well, let's hope so. Maybe we'll just knock it over the fence here, huh? <laughs> I'm scared I'm going to touch whatever that is right there. What? Oh, that's the just box. a speaker. That was a little high there, but Maddie wanted it, so she went up, tried to get it, just missed under it. So strike one goes for Jell. And sorry if the every time a new batter is kind of like off, mm -hmm. I forget to reset it. That one also almost hit her in the ankle. Making it a one and one count. And then Adam's over here jamming <laughs> to the cheers. Oh, that one almost got her in the ankle as well. Guess the pitcher really loves ankles. That's scary. <laughs> here comes the next pitch. Third pitch of the at-bat almost got her in the ankle again. And now the pitch is getting ready for the fifth pitch. Um, can move left or right. That will move once. It will zoom in or zoom out. And for a back towards the, the middle. Fourth ball. Put the camera back towards the middle. Oh, let me get my phone. We're going to have to like. We have to move the camera like where Hannah is. But I don't even think we can get it over there. I don't know. Some I don't know. He said that he doesn't like to put it right there because that, that blue thing. What blue thing? Oh. And right now we have Charisma Rodriguez we making it a strike. I mean, it wouldn't solve the problem then. Exactly. So I'll just leave it. Just move it then if. Okay. So we'll be all right. It'll just, it can just stay here. Because it's zoomed out all the way. That one for Charisma just missed. Strike two. You're like glitching in and out. Yeah, try again. No, look. Not talk. Oh, oh, I was muted. <laughs> there goes. Almost a double play. And three outs for the Jow Panthers. So four got up to the plate and three went down. Going up to the top of the third inning. Score is three to zero still. Be back after these commercials. Lasco Construction is a proud partner in education in Lee County. Lasco Construction is your hometown construction company. Lasco Construction encourages you and business owners to support Tatum, Jow, Lovington, Eunice, and Hobbs businesses. Buy as much as you can locally, which is why Lasco Construction always supports the youth of Lee County. Lasco Construction supports you. Call 393-9161 for all your construction needs. Support your community. The staff of the Jow Public School District is proud of their Jow Panthers. Those late practices, hard work, and dedication paid off. Go Panthers! Jow schools have continually provided a quality education and safe environment for the students. 
Jow Public School System is on the move. Are you ready? Jow Public Schools, another proud sponsor of all Lee County athletics and academics. And we are back for some more Jow softball. And whoever is watching, thank you for supporting. And right now we have <laughs> Lovington up to bat, and that's going to be, oh, Loving, sorry. I get Loving and Lovington confused. Lovington is blue. This is Lovington, is it not? Oh, no, no. This is Falcons. <laughs> and they, they're where? They're like by Carlsbad, right? Or somewhere like that? Love, yeah. And one of them's by Hobbs. Mm -hmm. This is going to be Alicia Martinez. First pitch for Butts was low and inside. Almost hit her in the ankles as well. <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to stand up there. Mm -mm. I'd be moving my ankles. Just in case. I don't know. Hitting the ball. Something about it, it just scares me. I have a fear. <laughs> <laughs> the fear of getting hit by the ball. Ooh. That one almost hit Coach Jimmy in the head. <laughs> but no flinches. <laughs> no flinches. So strike one, ball one for number 14. Comes next pitch for Jonna. Oh, she got a oh, piece of that one. Just poked it into right field. Left, right field. Right field. <laughs> now number 14 is taking two. Throw went right to Anna. Anna barely misses that throw. Loving decides to stay on the two bag. And no outs for Loving as that one just poked right into the right field gap where nobody could get to it. <laughs> but we have an injured Falcon on the field. And an injured, or what call it, injured Panther. Injured Panther. At third base. <laughs> it's this, these turf fields, your cleats get stuck in them. Turf shoes are the way to go if you're playing on a turf field. Because our baseball team has those metal cleats, and every time we try to slide, it's just it gets Ooh. caught in there. We're not allowed to wear metal cleats. In softball? Mm -hmm, because it'll rip the turf. That's how we rip the pitcher mm. metal last week. Oh, okay. It's it like... Rip yeah. So it looks like the Falcon is ending up being okay. So she, she will stay at second base. Now here comes this other batter for Loving, number two. I think it's gonna be number twenty-three. Oh, twenty-three. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Isn't tint. It? I'm telling you, it's the tint. It's gonna be <laughs> Sierra Rodriguez. So Rodriguez with the first pitch, looking is gonna be called a strike by Butts. Comes Butts one more time. There's the next pitch for her. 23. Got a piece of it. Just poked it back into the net. So strike two coming up. 0-2 is your count. With no outs here in this third inning. Got a new ball. That bright yellow ball. <laughs> that you cannot miss. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. There's no way you're missing <laughs> that yellow ball. Like my eyes are hurting looking at it. <laughs> so bright. It looks like the batter for Loving is going to call time. Wasn't quite ready for that third pitch to go in. Getting back into the batter's box, getting set up. Jonna approaching the mound. There's that next pitch. Struck her out. Alexa dropped it, though. Now going to go to first base to get the easy out. Goes over to third. Just a little too late on the throw. So the runner is going to advance to third base. And the one at first will be out. Now we just need two more outs to make it the bottom of the third inning. And then we need Jow to get their bats going. Pitch for Jonna was just a little low. Looked like it could have passed as a strike. Could have went either way. But ball was going to be called.
Next pitch for Jono was drilled wide right at her face. Went right into center field after that and gonna score a run. That literally took off her face mask. Thank goodness Jonna had a face mask. <laughs> she ripped one right back at her. <laughs> See. That's what you do with those pitchers that are right down the middle. You just try to smack it. Right back at them. I know. I don't know how pitchers sometimes like they don't wear their face masks. Mm hmm Scary. It is scary. Especially for softball because they're so oh, that one's gonna be popped up by the batter. Natalia hustling to try to get it. And so was the right fielder. I can't see all the way over there, but I believe they missed it. So, strike one, coming up on a foul ball. Here comes Jonna's pitch again. Next pitch goes up, fly ball in the center field. Mydeen should have that one. She does, gonna get it into second as fast as she can. Runner's not gonna advance, so just a fly out there. Four to zero, one run scored a while back. So now Josh needs to get this last out and then get their bats rolling. Here comes this next pitch for Jonna on the new batter. Number three swings, misses it over the top of it. Oh, shoot. So 0 oh, one's the count. See there? Mm -hmm. Their cheers are actually catching. <laughs> Here comes this next pitch for Butts. Just a little low. Looks like it might have crossed her knees, but a ball called. Here comes this pitch for Jonna. Right in there, just a little bit high. Was going to slap. Decided not to swing at it. So 2 1 is your, now your count. Two balls, one strike. Jonna's falling behind in this count. Next pitch, just low. John looks like she's getting a little bit tired, losing a little bit of stamina here with this long inning. There's the next one, gets a slap. Ball's gonna go to a Myla, just a little Ooh. late. Now we need to go to third base, try to get the tag on her. Maddie just misses the ball. They're not gonna go two. No, no, don't throw it. Don't throw it. <laughs> Good nice slap. Shot, nice shot. Just need to field that one a little bit faster. Um, Isla probably could have got that one, just tagged her base. The second baseman had to come all the way up to get that one. You need to be a little faster. Pitch was right down the middle. That one could have been smacked far, but she decides to take the first pitch. 0-1. And I believe that's going to be Angelina Ortiz up to bat. Next pitch. Ooh, that one might have just been a little outside for ball one. Next pitch was right down the middle once more for strike two. One, two is the count. Two outs here in this third inning. Next pitch for John, a little high, he's gonna swing at it. Gonna run to first base, gets the out. Now she's gonna go home, three outs. 
I was about to see. Now she's going home <laughs> and Jow's just staring at her. But it was three outs, and now we're going to go into the top, bottom of the third inning. Where we will take a short break. You've just changed the light bulb in the pantry to an Energy Star energy efficient LED bulb. One that uses up to 90% less energy than a regular old incandescent bulb and saves you more than $55 over its lifetime. You just saved energy and money and did the environment a solid. What's next? Organizing the pantry? It's suddenly so well lit. Find our LED discounts at ExcelEnergy.com slash lighting deals. Excel Energy. Kayla and Emmy Lujan from Panther Energy are excited for their Dow Panthers and proud of all the Dow students' great success this year. Panther Energy is your one-stop shop for backhoes, dump trucks, roustabouts, and welding. Panther Energy, 1179 South 3rd in Jow, or call 575-395-2654, 575-395-2654 for more information. Panther Energy, a proud supporter of all Lee County Athletics. We are back for more Jow softball, where Lovington is in the loving, field. Loving. Oh, Loving. Oh, I always mess it up. <laughs> loving is in the field, and Jow is going to be up to bats. I used to do that in basketball all the time. <laughs> like, I would always say the wrong one. And there was only two of them. I would always say the wrong one and never the right one. It's like, at some point, you just got to say the right one. Like, you just got to learn. Like, just guessing. Like, <laughs> even if you're guessing, at some point, you just got you like, there's got to be a time when you say the right one. I used to do that all the time. So, Loving is 10-1 and one on the season. Pretty good. Oh, that's loving baseball. Wrong team. <laughs> loving softball. They're 14 and 2. So even better, 5 and 0 in district. That's a very good district record here for these loving Falcon team. So let's see if Jao can end up getting a victory over this team. Because they have been recently killing the competition. Which one? Um, loving. All their wins have been by 10 plus. Oh, wow. Except Dexter. They barely beat Dexter. And Dexter is pretty good. So, looks like the umpires are discussing something with the coaches here. Let's see what's being discussed. Now it looks like number three, Natalia Rivera is up to bat. <laughs> so we're just waiting on the whatever's happening to not happen anymore. So we can get this game. So we can get this show on the road. So here comes the first pitch from number seven. Natalia was high, kept her swing a little bit short, and now going to go over it, under it, I mean. Oh, the next pitch was high as well, and she swung all the way up in the clouds for that one. Here's another pitch dealt from number seven. That one almost hit her in the kneecap. Had to back away as fast as she could. Next pitch for number seven. I thought I gets a piece of it. Ooh, that's going towards my car. Ooh, I think it might have hit it. <laughs> I think I heard it. Please don't <laughs> hit it. Here comes the next pitch. Ooh, that one's right Ooh, there. It's Hits close. off the ground. She's speedy. She's going to get there. And the throw was overthrown. Thank goodness for the right fielder to be able to back it up. So it was like a little, it was kind of like a bump, but a hit at the same time. But Natalia's going to get on base. She's a very fast runner. Yes, she is. And her strides help her get there even faster. Now we have Abigail Dar Darden. I think it's the D. There's a pitch. Oh, a little bit inside. She stole and she's going to get there in time. Collision she's between the safe. shortstop. Hey, 
Nobody uh, steals. I don't know. It was a I don't know. We'll see whenever they, I think it was a strike. Oh, that one got swing, got a piece of it just a little bit under it. Needs to cut the ball in half now here. Keep her swing a little shorter and just get a base hit. Try to move Natalia forward. As you can hear, Adam's jamming out. Because the next pitch. Oh, just under that one. So strikeout goes in for Abigail. Right? That's her name? Yeah. And now we have Anna Ross. Is this the number one hitter? Yes. So here comes Ross. She should be able to smack one over the fence. Let's see if she can do it. Has any of our team hit a home run this season? Mm -hmm. So no home runs have been hit. Well, yeah, because Alexa, I think she hit a home run. Not over the fence. Oh, not over the fence. Oh. Infield, it was an infield home run. So an infield run. home run. Yeah. But none have been smacked over the fence yet in this facility. Yeah, because I remember because that was the first game that I did. So let's hope we get our first one today. <laughs> Who do we think it's going to be? Hopefully it's Anna. But Jonna can hit it pretty far, too, and hard. Oh, that one was high. She's still going to get a piece of it. Brings a runner in. She will be out at first base, but not before she can bring Natalia in for an RBI. One to four now. Jow's creeping back in this game slowly. And now here comes your lefty hitter, Jonna Butts. Um, <laughs> What's the walkout songs? Have we ever had any for them? Pitch was low in the dirt, or in the turf, in the rubber, I guess you would say. Here comes the next pitch. Taking a little bit on her wind up. There it goes, the right-hander deals. Ball two for Jonna. Oh, sorry there. Jonna's being a very patient hitter right now. <laughs> Next hit for Jonna. Going to creep slowly. She's going to get there. Way to run there for Jonna. Speedy on the bases as well. So she's going to get there for the third hit of the night. Oh, I forgot. Hmm. Now we have Alexa Talavera coming up to bat. Can she hit it? First pitch. Oh, hi. She swings. Next pitch. Oh, that one was almost a strike. Just a little inside. Now we need to put it in play. Trying to unhook the trailer. <laughs> Comes the next pitch for seven. Right hander deals. A little bit inside. Jonna got back in time before the throw down got her. On ball. Next pitch was low. Jonna got the wheels on her. Catching the turf on fire, she gets to second base and now has got to stop. A fire's burning from her cleats. <laughs> so now Jonna's in scoring position. We need a hit here from Talavera. Next pitch for Talavera is a ball. Gonna be able to take her base now. Here is the cleanup hitter. Maireen, right? Yeah, Maireen Nieto. That is a cleanup hitter, right? Yeah, because one, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And Alejandra is going to go to base run. Pinch runner for the catcher. She can make it work. She can make it make it work. I like that one. Me too. It's catchy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> 
So now here comes Nieto up to hit. There's the pitch. Ooh, high. She swung under it. So here comes the next pitch. She's going to get a good lead off. Almost hit her in the knee as well. I forgot you can't lead off in softball. What's that? Like you can't you can't get off the base before she pitches the ball. So the ball has to leave her hand before Jonna can get off the base. Oh, okay. Oh, just high. Dropped the ball though. But still a strike. So strike two. Jow needs one to play here desperately. One to four. Two on the base. Just need a big hit here from Nieto. Oh, got a piece of it. Just fouled it off. Coach Amy was ready to field one over there, get it to first base. He was hustling. You <laughs> <laughs> forgot he wasn't playing. Literally, I thought he was the third <laughs> baseman for a second. <laughs> Pitch. Ooh, Ooh, swung under it for a strikeout. Okay. Now here comes Jow going back out into the field. So let's put it into a commercial. Iron Horse Sports Grill is now open. Burgers, wings, steaks, salads, pastas, oysters, and tons more, all delish. Check out their full online menu on Facebook under Iron Horse Sports Grill. Open Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Saturday from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. For takeout orders, just call 395-2109. That's 395-2109. Iron Horse Sports Grill, a taste you'll remember. 204 East Kansas Avenue. You've just changed the light bulb in the pantry to an Energy Star Energy Efficient LED bulb, one that uses up to 90% less energy than a regular old incandescent bulb and saves you more than $55 over its lifetime. You just saved energy and money and did the environment a solid. What's next? Organizing the pantry? It's suddenly so well lit. Find our LED discounts at ExcelEnergy.com slash lighting deals. Excel Energy. I kinda, I we are back for some more Jow softball where Loving, Loving is coming up to bat. That's going to be number 11. And number 11 is Jasmine Sellies. So Sellies is going to be up to bat. Yeah, I hope I'm saying that one right. Let me see. Yeah. Sellies. 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 Yeah. Sellies. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Guess the name. <laughs> yeah, me. I don't know. Here comes the pitch from Jonna. Getting the pitch call now. Going up. Right down the middle. Celis is gonna Celis is gonna get the first strike. So this loving team is first in district. Following Eunice and Zhao and then Dora. Zhao's on a five game losing streak. Need to break it here today. They were doing so good in the beginning of the season. Mm hmm They just slowly kinda that's okay. Everyone gets in the slump here and there. Just needs to get their win in the winning column now. And get a district win. Next pitch is high. Number 11, Sellies is going to swing at it. Sellies. How do you say it? Celis? I don't think it's Sellies. Sellies? Sellies, yeah. Because there's no O. Sellies. Yeah, maybe Sellies. <laughs> that sounds better. What's her first name? Uh, Jasmine. Jasmine is up to bat. That one was high. So count is one and two. Johnny needs one more strike to put this hitter down. So that one was a ball now. Two and one. I mean, two and two. No. No, wait, is it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think called the ball. That one for Jonna was a strike. 
Oh, ball went under the glove of Natalia. So an arrow's going to go in the infield. No Ooh. one's covering two bag. So Salise is going to take two. She's getting it on second base, isn't she? <laughs> She's over there dancing. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> We are back to the top of the lineup where Karen Montoya, Montoya is up to bat. Uh-oh. My, my cord's wrapped around my mic. <laughs> There's the first pitch high at the helmet of Montoya. Saliz is leading off that bag. A little bit far off of it. Now Jonathan's going to take her time to get back into that mound. Pitch just missed there. Little high ball two. So that one was a ball as well. So three zero. John is way behind in this count. Needs to pipe a strike right down the middle. It is 3 0. So one strike. She's taken third. Could have been thrown out easily, but Alexa just waited. So took that bag easily. Next pitch for Jonna is a ball, so she's going to walk her on that one now. Runners at first and third. Here comes number seven, Hunt, up the bat. He's just not on the top of your head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got used to him. He's got to know the batters. Honestly, I'm bad with the names. <laughs> I used to be terrible with names, too. <laughs> Until I got tired of looking at the rosters. Oh, that one went high in the air. Natalia can get to that one, and she's going to wait and let Abby get it. So she thought Abby was going to get it, and Abby thought Natalia was going to get it. So it looks like we need a little bit more communication between this infield and outfield. So what grade is Abigail in? Abby's an eighth grader. Oh, wow. Okay. So Abby, Natalia are all eighth graders. Okay. So here comes this next pitch. That one's in for a, ooh. That one was a ball. It's a one-to-one. -one. Jonna's taking her time on this one. Gets back into the circle, gets the pitch call. Now there's the ball. She's going to get that one way out in the center field. Just missed as Maideen. That runner's going to come home, scores one. The one from first base is coming in as well, takes home, scores that one as well. So two runs come across the board for Loving on a 6-1 to one game in the fourth inning. Good double there. So one runner on second now. Here comes number 14 up to bat. I don't remember that one. Um, That's Alicia Martinez. Martinez. Oh, that one was low. Swing over it for a strike. That was a very good pitch there by John. It looked like it had a lot of movement on it. So fouls that one off. So strike two. Now 
next pitch from Jonna. Here it comes. Ooh, Ooh ripped that one down the first base line. So that's going to score a run. Going two. Going to cut three now. Could be a home run. She's going to end up going. They're going to send her. No, they stop. So a triple comes up for number 14, Martinez. And they're loving is getting their groove back. Mm -hmm. And that will bring up number 23, Rodriguez. Right? Yeah. Right. So oh, yeah, Loving is getting their bats going. There's two Rodriguez. There's so that one, Sierra. Sierra? Mm -hmm. And then that one is Brooklyn. That's Brooklyn, yeah. I remember them from basketball. No. Sometimes you can't. So here comes the pitch for Jana. Ooh, that one's Ooh. popped up high. Fly ball to center field. Well, Mydeen catch that one. She Ooh, she misses it. it. So now 23 is rounding the bases. They're going to send her all the way home. She's going. That's an infield home run for the loving Lady Falcons by number 23, Sierra Rodriguez. So that's going to score two there. So 9-1. to one. Here comes Brooklyn Rodriguez up to bat. And no outs. It looks like they're they're really on fire right now. Mm -hmm. While wow, Emmy calls time a timeout. Maybe bring in a new pitcher here. Damn, that was crazy. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear the loving dugout. Huddle, huddle! The Falcons are causing trouble. <laughs> I kind of like that one. <laughs> so Coach Amy's going to talk it over with his team. Not going to bring in a new pitch. You're going to leave the same one out there. That's Butts. In this top of the fourth inning, Loving is finally getting their bats going here. This team is brutal whenever they get those bats swinging. They don't have another pitcher, do they? Um, I don't think so. Jow? I think they probably have maybe two more, but they usually just pitch John all the time. I thought that's fighting bugs out there. <laughs> First pitch was outside. Yeah, you can't see it. It's going to put it right there. Huddle, huddle, Falcons causing trouble. <laughs> Stuck in my head now. <laughs> this next pitch is coming in for Butts. That one's a little high. Oh, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> Next pitch was high as well. Same spot. Here comes the next pitch. Four butts. Ooh, that one pops up. Amila almost had it just a little bit too far for her to get. Pitch was a ball, now going to take a walk for Brooklyn. It is like the top or the bottom? It's the top. Oh, whoops. Next pitch was grounded to first. Just rolled foul. So she's going to have a couple more shots at this one. That hit went way into left field. Ooh, just missed that fly ball. So now throwing it in over to Inglet. That's going to get another player on base for Loving, holding them up at two. 
So running at first and second. Chow needs to find this defense here. I feel like this is going to be a very long inning. It has already been a very long inning. Chow needs to put it away here. No outs. Oh, try to Ooh. bunt there. Almost got her in the leg. <laughs> um, I don't know. It looked like she honestly, went. Honestly, I don't know. I think they called the ball. I thought she went on it. but No, I think she tried to, like, bunt it, but then she didn't do it. Oh, yeah, there she goes. that was yeah. a good bunt. That was a very good bunt by number three. Ow. So up to bat now is number two, Franco. Go, yeah. <laughs> so Jow needs to get on the ball here. Pitch for Jono was low. Ooh, they wanted to steal, almost sent them all. So that one was another ball, 2-0 is the count. Pitch got past her. Now Loving stole all the bases. So runners at second and third now. Brooklyn Rodriguez came home to make the score ten to zero, ten to one. So here comes this pitch for Jana. That one's also a ball going to Walker. So now bases are. Loaded here with runners at all positions. That's gonna bring up number eleven, Celise. <laughs> I'm gonna ask her how to say her name. <laughs> I know after she's done dancing. <laughs> Again, <laughs> danced that danced in the in the on deck circle. And now she's dancing at second. <laughs> so the lefty, Jasmine, coming up to bat. So now the bunt. So what are the green? What are these? What are the hearing buttons do? They um, turn well, off your ability to hear. Hold on, hold on. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. You can still hear me? Uh huh. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah. I can't hear myself. Okay, now I can. I don't know what they do. <laughs> for real. I just know we turn them off. <laughs> I just know we turn them off. <laughs> I don't know what they do. Because we had like a, a very upgraded board. Like ours was like all brand new. That's why I was wondering why they gave you a different board. I don't know. No well, like, you know what? They don't deserve a really good board. <laughs> we had all the technical board and it was like high technology. But ours was so easy to work. This one is too. That one missed. Oh, did she strike out? Yes, she struck out. Her coach does not seem very happy with her. That strikeout. So that's going to bring up the first out. That pitch is fouled off. Over to the Little League baseball field. That one was crushed. Ooh, okay. That was Rodriguez, right? Who was Rodriguez? The other girl, or was that? That was Elise. Oh, okay, so right now we have 10. Oh, yeah, okay, back to the top of the lineup. 
Montoya. That oh, one's high fly up. Ball. Will they catch it? Yes, Anna caught it. Now she needs to get it home. Now she needs to get it to third. Ooh. The third base is out. If Oh. So what happened? So she caught the ball at shortstop and then got it into Jonna. Jonna threw it to third and got the runner out on the run. So did 20. So that's two outs. So that's three outs. She dropped it? Yeah. Oh. So did she get the. She got the out at third. So did she make it home? Yeah, one of the girls made it home. Okay. Wait. Yeah, right? Yeah. So that's two outs. Okay. I thought she caught that one. <laughs> so that one's low. No run cut no one covering second. Here comes the next one. Four butts. Ooh, that one's right down the Ooh, they called that one a ball. That pitch was right down the middle as well, but he's going to call it another ball. Oh, really? That one looked like it was perfect. Here comes this next pitch for Butts. That one's a strike. Those all look like they're in the same exact spot. So there's the pitch. That Ooh, one's okay. going to get hit. Oh, that misses. one rolls under Anna's glove. Now the outfield needs to get it in. <gasps> oh, Ooh, Maddie she's out. Her. Oh, they're going to call her safe. What? That's crazy. Was she not touching the base? Or? I don't know. It looked like the tag was perfect. Oh, my goodness. That one looked like it was the tag was put down on her immediately. That's crazy. But we have Martinez up to bat. So now the score is 12 to 1. Did you already see that? Mm, no. <laughs> so that one's fouled off, caught by Alexa. I thought if I thought if they hit it and the catcher catches it like that, I thought it was an out. It has to be like popped up in the air. Oh. Ooh, Ooh, let's see if they catch it. Right it. There. We'll see if Mydeen gets it, and she does. So that's finally going to retire the side. Now coming back onto the field is going to be Jow to hit. Did she get the hit. run? No. Because they caught it. I think one did, though. That's why oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I was saying, like, the one before the catch. Oh, no. If no? she catches it, then everyone's out on the base. Okay. So we'll go into a commercial now. You've just changed yeah. the light bulb in the pantry to an Energy Star energy efficient LED bulb, one that uses up to 90% less energy than a regular old incandescent bulb and saves you more than $55 over its lifetime. You just saved energy and money and did the environment a solid. What's next? Organizing the pantry? It's suddenly so well lit. Find our LED discounts at ExcelEnergy.com slash lighting deals. Excel Energy. Kayla and Emmy Lujan from Panther Energy are excited for their Dow Panthers and proud of all the Dow students' great success this year. Panther Energy is your one-stop shop for backhoes, dump trucks, roustabouts, and welding. Panther Energy, 1179 South 3rd in Dow, or call 575-395-2654, 575-395-2654 for more information. 
Panther Energy, a proud supporter of all Lee County Athletics. We are back for some more Jow Panthers, and I'm Natalie Navarrete. And I am Adam Huttis. And we have Madison Inglet up to bat. We got a piece of it. <laughs> so here comes a pitch from number seven. Oh, Maddie got contact it. on that one. And it's out. Am I mic number two or mic number one? Mic number two. Okay. You. Okay. Are you back on? Yeah, I'm back on. I think. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Now we have Charisma Rodriguez. There's the pitch coming in for Charisma. Gets a piece of it. Rolls foul. These press boxes are kind of nice. Yeah, when I walked in, I was like, oh, okay. Because it, like, it's like metal on the outside, so you don't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. But it's actually pretty nice in the windows, too. Ooh, next pitch was high. Had Charisma swinging. That's a way to rock and fire, kid. That's a way to rock and fire. Actually, really. <laughs> that one was fast. <laughs> Ooh, got a piece of it there. Ball's going to go right over the first base after oh, wow. the pitch. Just barely went back up to the pitcher. So two outs here, one more out for to end this game for Loving. Mm, 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 mm. Have, did you see the Eunice pitcher? Uh uh. She can throw some fast ones. Ah, uh, I watched from. Ooh, good oh, hit okay. there by Myla right up the gap. Gets on base okay. for Joe. Nice good job, Myla. She got us onto a base. That was a very good hit. And then that's Natalia. Mm. Oh, we might get another one. Let's hope so. We need another hit right now. We actually need a home run right now. <laughs> I feel like she could do that. Yeah, I bet she. Oh! And that is. Popped it up. So there's a third out of the inning. Oh, wow. Spoke a little too soon there. So that should be the end of wow. the game. And it's not the end of the game. Wait, yes, it is. Right? What? Anyways, if you have to leave, that's fine. No, I should be okay. I mean, there's girls in here that are in the quinta too, so. Oh, okay. Not like Natalia's in it. <laughs> so, I think I should be okay. We're going to go on a short commercial break. Oh, I think it's because... Mamacita Senjao has a broad selection of specials. Try the Mexican food, asado, tamales, enchiladas, and so much more. At Mamacitas, you can have it all. Mexican food, donuts, and a steamy cup of coffee at the coffee shop. Mamacitas has authentic Mexican food from the heart of good old Jow, New Mexico. Mamacitas, 301 South Main in Jow, is a proud supporter of the Jow community. The Woolworth Community Library is a proud supporter of the Jow Panthers. They are excited to have their kids back into schools and in sports, all while staying safe. The Woolworth Library staff encourages you to swing by the library and check out all of the cool stuff just for kids. Great reads for all ages. Call 575-395-3268 for library hours and online resources. The Woolworth Library, a proud supporter of Lee County Athletics. We are back for some more Jow Panther, Jow Panther softball, and I'm here, I'm Natalie Navarrete. With Adam Wattis. And we are listening to the loving conversation about Lil Wayne. Talking about Lil Wayne, if you don't know Lil Wayne, then just say that. Because <laughs> they didn't recite a lyric. The things you can hear from the press box. So close. <laughs> they're going to be watching their highlights, and they're going to be like, oh, wow, they heard our little wing conversation. <laughs> that was a strike there for number 23. Who was that again? I don't remember. She uh, was the one who hit a home run. Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Sierra Rodriguez. 
Um, yeah. And then that one is Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Rodriguez. So the two Rodriguez's back to back. Ooh. Okay, so if you're up 15 at the third inning and up 10 after the fifth. So if it's the third inning and they're up by 15, then it's game. Then it's game. The pitch flew sky high there. You know who Fabi is? Um, yes, I do. Did you work with her? Yes. She sounds like her. <laughs> Wait, where did... And she kind of looks like her, too, a little bit. They put Ala in, but where did... Abigail? Did Abigail go, yeah. Oh, Ooh. nice hit right to the center fielder. And out. Line drive caught. Now we have other Rodriguez coming up to bat. But this one's is Brooklyn. So I'm guessing they just Abigail just got taken out, maybe. Yeah. Cause I I see Ale out there, but I don't see Abigail anywhere else. Oh, and field. they switched Anna Ross. Oh yeah, they switched. Yeah, they switched them around. Ooh. So here comes the third second out for that for the top of the fifth. Like you <laughs> do know. Should I like mute myself and start singing it? I think I can. Imagine you can still hear from mine. <laughs> I think you can because look. Nobody sees <laughs> Pitch goes in. Strike called on number 20. She's seen. Yes, it was a strike like this. And we that is going to be Sim. Or, I don't know. Or CERN. CERN? I think it actually might be CERN. It just looks like an M. Oh, that one was fouled off. Wait, what number is she? 20? Yeah. Sim. Sing. S songs. <laughs> it's Mailing. Mailing Sim. Or CERN. Because, like, if you hold it like at this <laughs> angle, you can see the M. I don't know. I can see. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I can see. <laughs> that one was fouled off and. No, but you're not going though. Yeah, look. Watch. No, but look. Those to be unmuted. Cause look, listen. No, but like, look, 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 look. So that's what the ear things do. Yeah. Oh, there's Ooh. a hit. It goes right up the gap. You know, I was not paying attention for that one. B A T T L E battle for me, baby battle. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> that was stuck in my head too. How come baseball doesn't sing? Um, I don't know. <laughs> some like baseball what doesn't baseball do. sing? Yeah, it'd be more entertaining. We I just go, that. we just go. Ba -ha -da 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 -da. Like we just make annoying noises. <laughs> like sometimes we go mine, 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 mine. <laughs> this is. Is that two? Or what's three? That pitch was nasty by Jonna. What happened? I think that's Caroline. It, uh, she needs a flipper here. Oh, it's nine. No, it's eight. Eight? Oh, never mind. No. It's, oh, it's, 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 it's three. Line. It is three. Yeah. She just needs a whipper here that way. <laughs> yeah. I was like, wait a minute. So two strikes. In the fifth inning with two outs, need one more strike to retire the batter. Put her in retirement. <laughs> oh, that one was Ooh, high. And a ball. We said we needed a strike and we got a ball. Man, these loving people can like bat forever. Mm hmm Like they just keep going. <laughs> they just keep going. <laughs> this is a good team. This is a very good loving team. I think they won state last year, huh? Hannah, had they won? Did they win state last year? Loving, yeah. yeah. So loving won state last year. So defending the defending state champions. Is this JV or their varsity? This is their varsity. Oh, okay.
<laughs> oh, my hair is like sticking up. Yikes. <laughs> I thought you did it on purpose. No. <laughs> did you even tell yes. me? Yes. I was like, okay. I saw your hair in there too, and I Because <laughs> it was like this. Yeah, I was like, okay, well, he did that on purpose. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I don't know. I don't like that one. Me neither. <laughs> I don't like how they say that. <laughs> Swung got it in the ground, and that's three outs. I thought she was out. Now she is. <laughs> I would say the first base was occupied, so she should be out. And this one, let's see if they get it. This, I think this might be fast. Inning. Yep. So now we can go into a timeout or a or oh. a commercial. Yes. A timeout, <laughs> like I'm in basketball. Iron Horse Sports Grill is now open. Burgers, wings, steaks, salads, pastas, oysters, and tons more, all delish. Check out their full online menu on Facebook under Iron Horse Sports Grill. Open Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Saturday from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. For takeout orders, just call 395-2109. That's 395-2109. Iron Horse Sports Grill, a taste you'll remember. 204 East Kansas Avenue. The Woolworth Community Library is a proud supporter of the Jow Panthers. They are excited to have their kids back into schools and in sports, all while staying safe. The Woolworth Library staff encourages you to swing by the library and check out all of the cool stuff just for kids. Great reads for all ages. Call 575-395-3268 for library hours and online resources. The Woolworth Library, a proud supporter of Lee County Athletics. And we are back for some more Jow softball. I am Natalie Navarrete. With her co-host, Adam Wattis. We've had seven views, but one stays active. <laughs> <laughs> but one stays active. That might be me. I don't think I'll swipe that on my YouTube. <laughs> it's me. Not try. Let's see. I don't know. Hold on. But one says active. No, I don't know. It's not refreshing. We got a piece of it, but we oh. want all of it. We got a piece of it, but we want all of it. I wish you could see, but you can't. Oh, we have seven people watching on YouTube. Oh, it says viewed. <laughs> Zooey Mama. Is this Ale? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So we have a new batter. So she's hitting in place of Abigail. She... Swings very low for that one. Couldn't get her bat on it. So strike one called. Here comes the next one. Ooh, just missed that one as well. I don't know how you time a softball pitcher. <laughs> Ooh, that was a changeup. Good change up there by number seven. One to twelve still, so one more. So if we Loving gets these three outs, it's game over. So John needs to put some runs on the board here. We got a piece of it, but we want all of it. That one's a ball, almost hit her in the leg. I love the sound, it's like. Like that. Oh no, I it's just like such a satisfying sound. Look, listen. Oh yeah. <laughs> or like when it's like really hard. Mm-hmm. I think that Dalia is leaving. Oh really? Yeah, so I don't know if you wanna go. No, she's over there. She is? Yeah, she's laughing. She's like rocking back and forth behind Bella. Ooh, gotta oh. that one. Why did I why did I flinch? No, are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. She's right there by the pole, the middle pole. That looks like okay. I don't know. It now now from here it looks you know it looks like um Melanson. <laughs> Good hit there by um Olive, but it goes right up to the pitcher and goes out for the first out.
So next pitch was a bump. Honor Ross gets it down and she's safe. We found our viewer. It's Eddie Tarin. <laughs> Ball goes right up to the pitcher again for Jana. Oh, she's safe. Oh, she's out. I think she was safe. <laughs> We have the footage. I was kidding. Ross showing a replay. I know. Like, come look. I think she might have been safe on that one. Who's up to bat now, Alexa? Yeah. Oh, oh good hit by Alexa, it. but it's going to be right up to the shortstop. Goes a first and ends the game for Loving. Final score is 12 to 1 here. Jow took the. Um, loss in this district matchup so Jow's going to fall to 0-2 in district not a good look for them but they got a couple games to come back from do I just exit out from this? Uh, yeah so what you're going to do is go go to edit and then oh no no that's not what you do I've never done it on here oh right there so you hit stop broadcast whenever okay so that's, any... that's it for me and Natalie have any words? I have no words. I don't either. <laughs> Good night. Good day.